what's up y'all so we cooking tonight and what's on the menu is how do, how do I want to say this this is uh, garlic white wine lemon garlic white wine uh, mushroom and green bean penne pasta gonna call it something but this is what you're gonna need onion fresh basil this is garlic and herb butter we're gonna use that for the sauce fresh lemon organic of course the penne pasta organic so we got some lemon pepper seasoning some paprika Italian seasoning basil oregano garlic sea salt we got sea salt veggie pepper, onion powder. Also, um, excuse me, I'm gonna grab this out of uh, the fridge. You're gonna need some fresh thyme and fresh oregano. But if you wanna just stick to the seasons, then that's fine. Also, we got some cornstarch for our sauce. We have uh, the Davina roasted tomatoes. This is the uh, oil we'll be cooking with. It's the organic liquid coconut oil with garlic infused. Some organic green beans and some sliced mushrooms. Oh, and some spinach. So that's, that's, that's what we're working with. Now again, you can add as much or as little as you want to your pasta. This is what I'm doing. Something light, you know, something simple. Not too much. I never did pasta uh, this way with uh, with the green beans, but I had cooked this last night and it was good, so I'm making it again. And also, it was a request as well. Someone wanted to know the recipe, so that's why I'm making this video. So shout out to you. You know who you are. All right, so we got our onion chopped. That's good. So what we're gonna do now is turn on our pot. I mean our pan. Let they get nice and warm. Medium high heat as well. Go in with the oil. Let they get hot. So oh, we start chopping these. Green beans. I'm gonna chop these off the stems, and then you could um, use however, however long of a size you want. I just chop it in half like that, and if it's still too long, of course I just chop some more off. These are already washed. If you get a batch that don't look so clean, you could you know wash it again yourself. you chop up everything and your pan is nice and hot just everything in Wow, that is 
come together. You want to add your thyme leaves and your oregano, fresh oregano, fresh thyme. And I'm going to take the thyme leaf, leave out the stem. Not to worry. So the herbs can burst open and give it some nice good flavor. So also to this while it's uh, cooking right now, you can add the seasonings, which is like what I'm about to do. So going in with the Italian seasoning. What I'm gonna do now is add the tomatoes. And if you can't find these tomatoes, then you could definitely substitute for sun-dried tomatoes or just regular Roma tomatoes chopped up, whatever you have. I just prefer these because these are good. But the closest to these are the sun-dried tomatoes. Or you could roast you some tomatoes, you know? Because these are just roasted tomatoes. However it works out for you. this occasionally so the meat won't stick together. And what I like to do too is I like to add a little oil to the water as well to keep them from sticking. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna add, add avocado oil. Just a little splash. Alright so while that's doing that we're gonna work on our sauce. take the garlic butter I'm gonna add it right on in there actually I could just this whole rest of it in there and our lemon We're going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch so our sauce can thicken up before we add the white wine. And the white wine I'm using, I didn't show you guys in the beginning of the video, I was going over the ingredients. I'll be using the Barefoot Pinot Grigio. And you can use uh, 
uh, what is it called? Uh, Charlotte, I mean, not Charlotte. Uh, that other white wine, I can't think of it right now. But um, you can use definitely whatever kind of white wine you prefer. That's just what I use. all of this come together and thicken up and we're going to add the spinach and the basil last before we add the pasta to the pan so give this about five minutes to come together and then you'll have your sauce Okay guys, and our sauce thickened up. Our pasta is ready. So I just added some salt and pepper to the noodles, as well as a little bit more of that avocado oil. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add the spinach in there. Add the spinach in the basil. And with spinach and basil, all it does is just wilt. You don't have to really cook it long. Then it's gonna shrink down. 